इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न अ वेरी यूजफुल मेथड ऑफ इंटीग्रेटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ फंक्शंस let f and g are any two differentiable functions of x then integration of product of fx and gx is equal to fx into integration of gx minus integral of differentiation of first into integration of second this involves integral of second function and differentiation of first function so identification of first and second function is important the second term involves product of differentiation of first and integration of second function so choose first function such that its differentiation will simplify the integration let us understand with an example integrate x sin x while selecting first and second function for applying integration by parts formula we should keep in mind the second term which has product of first differentiation and second integral let us assume sin x as first function and x as second function now using formula of integration by parts we can write sin x into integration of x dx minus integration of dy dx of sin x into integral of x dx integral of x dx is x square by 2 and differentiation of sin x is cos x substituting these values we will get x square by 2 into sin x minus integral of x square by 2 into cos x dx after applying integration by parts formula once we end up in getting more difficult integration of product of x square by 2 and cos x if we apply integration by parts again on second term assuming cos x as first function and x square as second function it will end up in giving x cube into sin x term for further integration this will continue forever and we will never get integral solved due to wrong selection of first and second function Now let us solve again by assuming x as a first function and sin x as a second function. Applying integration by parts formula i is equal to x into integral of sin x dx minus integration of d by dx of x into integral of sin x dx. here second term gets simplified because differentiation of x is 1 so final integral is i is equal to minus x cos x plus sin x plus c Usually if any function is a part of x or a polynomial in x then take it as first function In case where other function is inverse trigonometric function or logarithmic function then take them as first function 